total syllabus or index of bookkeeping and accountancy for the academic year 2021 is as given. First unit is a introduction of partnership and partnership final accounts. Second unit accounts of non-profit concern. Third unit admission of partner. Fourth unit retirement of a partner. Fifth unit death of partner. Sixth unit dissolution of partnership firm. Seventh unit bill of exchange. Eighth unit company accounts issue of shares. Ninth unit is a analysis of the financial statements and last tenth one computer in a accounting. Total syllabus of a bookkeeping accountancy for 12th commerce for 2020-21 as given. Now we are going to see the structure of a model question paper. Revised modified model question paper structure will be as under. Question number one. There are five questions A, B, C, D, E. Out of these, only four questions are required to be solved. First question, answer in one sentence. There are also sub questions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. B. Fill in the blanks. There is also sub questions 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. C. Give the words or phrase for each sentence. Here is also 1 to 5 questions. D. True or false. Same 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 questions. And E. A specimen of a bill of exchange. You know, format of bill of exchange. You have to ask. Out of 5 questions, only 4 questions are required to be solved. Now question number 2. Admission of partner. Or a retirement of partner. There is a practical problem. One of them is to be solved. Question 3. Dissolution of partnership firm or a bill of exchange. Here it is also practical problem. One of them is to be solved. Question number fourth. Issue of shares or a computer in accounting. Here is also practical problem. One of them is to be solved. Question number fifth. Death of partner or a analysis of financial statements. Here also practical problem. One of them is to be solved. Now, Question 6 is a compulsory question. There is no option. Accounts of non-profit concern. And last 7th question is a final accounts of partnership firm. Here it is so. No option is compulsory questions. The structure will be this one. Now we are going to see the unit first one. Unit first is introduction of partnership and partnership final accounts. Some of the important terms are given as under. These are helpful in question number one. Just like a answer in one sentence, true, false, give the words as like this. Now, what is a partnership? Indian Partnership Act 1932 defines it is a relation between the persons who have agreed to share profits of business carried on by all or any one of them acting for all. In simple, partnership is the relation between two or more persons comes together to earn a profit from business and carried on by all or one of them acting for all. It is a partnership. Now, what is a partnership deed? The agreement between the partners is called as a partnership deed. In this agreement, various terms and conditions are noted. For example, profit sharing ratio, conditions of admission, conditions of retirement, conditions of death of partner, valuation of goodwill, etc. Third one is 
what are the number of partners minimum two persons are required to form a partnership business and maximum 10 persons for a banking business and 20 person for other business next one who is a nominal partner a person whose name is used he neither brings capital nor take active part in a day to day functions of the business he is called as a nominal partner who is a active partner a person who takes active part in a day to day functions of the business he is called as a active partner who is a minor partner a person who is of age below 18 and admitted in partnership firm he is called as a minor partner his liability is a limited what are the methods of capital there are two methods of capital namely fixed capital method and fluctuating capital method only these methods are to be used to maintain partners capital account what is the fixed capital method in this method capital balance of partners remain constant every year for adjustment purpose a separate account is opened it is called as a current account now what is a fluctuating capital in this method capital balances changes every year due to various transactions in this method only capital account is maintained single capital account is maintained now what is the relation between the partner relation between partner is that of agent as well as principal it means every partner is agent of other partners and every partner is principal for others for example a and b are partners a is agent of b b is agent of a also a is a principal of b and b is a principal of a like this one what is the liability of partner liability of every partner is a unlimited except minor partner minor partner is a only benefited for profits he is not liable for the loss of the business what is the balance sheet it is a statement which shows the financial position of business on a particular date in a simple balance sheet shows total assets and total liabilities of the business on a particular date what is the direct expenses expenses which are directly related to production or purchase of goods are called as direct expenses for example purchase of raw material wages of factory power fuel carriage in order factory insurance etc these are the direct expenses what is the indirect expenses expenses which are directly not directly related to production again one expenses which are not directly related to production or purchases they are called as indirect expenses for example salary to office staff office rent depreciation printing stationery postage etc these are indirect expenses what is the trial balance it is a list of all ledger balances on a particular date in this list all types of accounts are included balances of the it may be debit or credit balances now what is a bad debt sir the amount which is not recoverable from debtors means customer is called as a bad debt sir in a simple the debts which is a irrecoverable is called as a bad debt sir now who is a sleeping partner a partner who brings capital only and do not take active part in the business he is called as a sleeping partner what is a accrued income income which is earned during the year 
but actually not received during the year. It is called as accrued income. It is also called as incomes receivable. Now, what is the prepaid expenses? Expenses which are paid in advance is called as a prepaid expenses. Generally, expenses are incurred after the happening events, but some expenses which are always paid in advance. For example, insurance premium is always paid in advance. What is a clothing stock? The stock at the end of the stock in hand at the end of the year is called as a closing stock. Now, valuation of closing stock. Closing stock is valued at cost price or market price, which one is lower or less one. What is a carriage inverter? Transport expenses of goods purchased by the firm is called as a carriage inverter. And the last one, what is the outstanding expenses? Expenses which are incurred during the year but actually not paid at the end of the year, it is called as a it is also called as expenses payable. Before going to practical problems of partnership final account, just we have to recap the study of 11th standard. In the 11th standard, we learn about the process of accounting. First, we learn the transaction. Transactions are of two types, namely monetary transactions and non-monetary transactions. Here, only monetary transactions are recorded in the books of account. Next, we learn the types of accounts and uh, rules of recording transactions. There are only three types of accounts, real account, personal account and nominal account. Real accounts rule is that debit what comes in, credit what goes out. Personal account rule is that debit the receiver and credit the giver. Nominal accounts rule is that debit the expenses and losses, credit the incomes and gains. And on that basis, we next stage journal. Journal is a primary books of accounting. In journal, every business transactions are recorded firstly in journal book. For example, started business with rupees 10,000 will be recorded as cash account debit rupees 10,000 to capital account rupees 10,000. And meaning of the transactions is given in bracket being started business. As like this one, every transactions are recorded in a journal book. Next stage is the ledger. Ledger is a secondary book of accounting. In this ledger, every account is opened in a T form, just like cash account, capital account, sales account. Every entries are posted in a ledger, just like this one, cash account debit to capital account will appear in ledger, cash account debit side to capital and capital account credit side by cash 10,000. Lastly, balancing of every account is closed and each balance is transferred to next steps, a uh, trial balance. Trial balance will appear just like this one, serial number, name of account, debit and credit. Here it is, every trial balance is a list of all, every ledger account balances. There are only three accounts, real account, it includes building account, machinery account, furniture account, etc. Firstly, here it is understand the real account balances are always debit balances. Personal account balances, just like capital account, Dinesh account, Suresh account, Ganesh account, etc. Their balance may be debit or it may be a credit. Nominal account, nominal account may say the expenses and incomes. Expense balances are always debit balances. Expenses like purchases, salaries, rent, printing, stationery. Income balances are always credit balances, just like sales account, interest issue account, commission issue account, discount issued account, etc. And total of debit side is equal to credit side. Trial balance is the basic statement of a preparation of final account. Final account includes two accounts, trading peel account and balance sheet. Trading peel account gives a result of business during a particular period and balance sheet is a statement which shows the financial position of business on a particular date. Trading account Firstly close, we find out the gross profit, it will be transferred to the PL account credit side and then PL account will be closed 
and then we find out the net profit of the business. Net profit lastly will be added in a capital account and then last one balance sheet will be tallied. Asset side is equal to liability side. Important notes, important terms or implied notes is that real account balances are always debit balances. Personal account balances may be debit or credit. Expenses balances are always debit balances. Incomes always credit balances. Now we summarize the process of finalization. Here it is trial balance with the implied conditions real account debit balances, personal account debit or credit, nominal account expense balance debit, income balance credit. Now how these items are appear in the final statement. Now see real account debit balances and personal account debit balances both are these assets will be transferred to directly asset side of the balance sheet. Then personal account credit balances will directly appear in the liability side. Now remains nominal account expense balances and income balances directly appear. Debit balances expenses will trade account debit side and income balances will appear PL account credit side. Is a general structure of the final accounts. Now we go to the format of the trading PL account and balance sheet. Now it is a format of trading account. Trading account includes all direct expenses and direct incomes. In the 11th standard, there is no specific rule of the placement of specific items. But here it is, there is a specific placement for particular items. Now opening stock is a first item of the trading account debit side. Credit side, sales is the first item on credit side is the placement. Other items will be appear as per given in the questions. Now opening stock, the next word is purchases, less written inward, net figure will appear on outside side. Carriage inward, freight, royalties, wages and labor, octroi, coal gas water, power fuel, works manager salary, wages and salary, factory insurance, productive wages, factory rent, all of these are the direct expenses and other factory expenses will appear also here it is. Now on credit side, sales is the first item, less written inward net figure will be appear outside side. Then free sample, goods lost by fire, goods lost by theft, goods taken by proprietor and last one closing stock. Closing stock will be valued at cost price or market price which is lower. Then after closing this one we find out the gross profit which will be transferred to the PL account credit side it means on this one side. Now format of the PL account credit side will appear on this one. It includes all indirect expenses and indirect incomes. Here it is also placement is first item is salary. Credit side GP is first item. Other items will be given as per question papers. Now left side all of indirect expenses will appear as salaries, ad outstanding, rent, printing, and stationery, postage, telegram, insurance, less prepaid insurance, sundry expenses, office expenses, general expenses, miscellaneous expenses, advertisement, conveyance, traveling expenses, discount allowed, carriage outward, RDD, new plus bad dates, less old RDD, net figure outer law, depreciation, loss on sale of assets, loss by fire, loss by theft. On credit sales, interest issued, discount issued, commission issued, rent issued and RDD, if old RDD is more, then figures will be appear on credit side. After closing that one, we find out the net profit. In a partnership firm, the net profit is of two partners will be shared between the A and B partners. Now we see the format of balance sheet. Balance sheet is a statement which shows the financial position of the business on a particular date. There are asset side and liability side. Asset side will firstly all fixed assets and then all current assets namely goodwill first, land and building second, less depreciation, machinery, furniture, less depreciation, motor van, less depreciation, patent, trademark, investment, 4% government security, example given, Sunday data, here would be adjustment for unrecorded sales will be added, dishonored base will be less, further RDD by dates less, and new RDD less, and reserve for 
discount will be also deducted. Next figure will be outer law. Base receiver, prepaid insurance, insurance claim, cash in hand, cash at bank. On a liability side, capital of the both partners will be appear A partner and B partner. Opening balance here will be net profit will be added, net loss will be deducted, drawings less deducted, salary deducted, commission salary added, commission added, and net figure will be outer. Same like this one, B's portion is also net profit. Net loss deducted, drawings deducted, interest on capital drawing deducted, salary added, commission added, interest on capital added. Net figure will appear on outside side. Now, remaining figures bank loan. Here it is add outstanding interest if any. Net figure out. Provident fund, interest on PF investment, creditors, unrecorded purchases, bills payable, outstanding salary, outstanding wages, outstanding rent. And that's one total of. Asset side will be equal to total of liability side. It's a format of the partnership file account. Now we are going to discuss the important adjustment of a partnership file account. First adjustment is a closing stock. Closing stock is to be valued at cost price or market price, which is lower price. Effects will be first effect trading account credit side and second effect asset side of the balance sheet. Outstanding salaries. It will be added in a salary and it will appear in a library side of the balance sheet. Outstanding rent. It will be added in rent account and will appear on library side of the balance sheet. Same thing. Outstanding wages. It will also added in wages account and it will be appear on library side of the balance sheet. Now, prepaid insurance is an advance expenses. It will be deducted from insurance account and uh, appear on asset side of the balance sheet. Depreciation on a fixed assets. It will be deducted from assets and uh, appear on P account debit side. Unrecorded sales. Uh, it will be added in sales account and also added in a debtors account on balance sheet asset side. Unrecorded purchases, it will be added in purchase account and also added in a credit account on liability side. Purchases include purchase of furniture, it will be deducted from purchase account and added in furniture account on asset side of balance sheet. Wages include installation of new machinery, it will be deducted from wages account and added in machinery account on asset side of the balance sheet. Now, wages include on account of construction of new building. It will be deducted from wages account and added in building account on asset side of balance sheet. Now, next, uh, free sample. Free sample effects will be first effect is credit side of trading account and second effect is PL account debit side. Now, next one, goods taken by Partner for personal use. Goods taken by partner for personal use. First, it will be trading account credit side and it will be deducted from capital account. Next one is a goods lost by fire. There are two types one is uninsured and insured. If it is uninsured goods taken lost by fire, if it will be full amount appear on trading account credit side and full amount appear PL account debit side. If it is goods is insured, then full amount is trading account credit side. Insurance claim admitted will appear on asset side and actual loss will appear on PL account debit side. For example, goods lost by fire rupees 10,000 and insurance claim admitted rupees 8,000. It will appear as like this one. Full amount rupees 10,000 will appear trading account credit side. Insurance claim rupees 8,000 on asset side and actual loss rupees 2,000 will appear on PL account debit side. Next one is outstanding interest in bank loan. It will be added in loan account and second effect is PL account debit side. Next is bills receivable dishonored. Added in debtors account and deducted from bills receivable account. Both effects uh, will appear on assets side of the balance sheet. Bills payable dishonored. It will be added in creditors account and deducted from bills payable account. 
both if it also appear on liability side of the balance sheet. Dishonored bills payable wrongly included in a bills receivable. If it will be deducted from bills receivable account and also deducted from bills payable account. Goods taken by proprietor or a partner wrongly included in a debtor's account. If it will be deducted from debtor's account and also deducted from capital account. No next one is further bad debt sir. It is a deducted from PL account debtors and appear on PL account debit side. Reserve for bad debts or a reserve for doubtful debts sir. It will be deducted from debtors account and appear PL account debit side. Reserve for discount on debtors same like this one deducted from debtors account and it will appear PL account debit side. Next is a reserve for discount on creditors. Reserve for discount on creditors. First effect, it will be detected from creditors account and it will appear PL account credit side. Next one is a accrued interest on investment. First effect is appear on asset side and appear on PL account credit side. Repairs of building wrongly included in a building account. If it will be detected from building account and appear on PL account debit side. Closing stock of stationery. It will be deducted from stationary account and it will appear on asset side. Salary included advanced salary. It will be deducted from salary account and appear on asset side of the balance sheet. Commission due but not paid. Commission due but not paid. It means outstanding commission. It will be added in commission account, PL account debit side and it will appear on liability side of the balance sheet. Commission due but not received. It will be added in commission account PL account credit side and will appear second effect on asset side of the balance sheet. Commission received in advance or advance income. It will be deducted from commission account PL account credit side and it will appear on liability side of the balance sheet. Provide interest on capital. It will be added in capital account and PL account debit side. Provide interest on drawings. It will be deducted from capital account and it will appear PL account credit side. Salary, commission, bonus payable to partners. It will be added in capital account and a PL account debit side. Transfer to general reserve. It will be added in general reserve and appear on PL account debit side. That's one it is. Thank you.